lot of running and then hopefully not more swearing when the wasps catch up with us. And the situation we have here is a paper wasp nest next to a waxbill's nest. And as Herbert says, the great mystery is, how is it that a bird and an insect have come to have a symbiotic relationship? How on earth do they communicate with each other to know where to plant each other's nest? And I said, well, I must be because the bird is cleverer than the wasp. It finds the wasp's nest and then builds its, web, uh, builds its nest around there. And Herbert said, no, no, he's often seen the bird's nest first and then the wasps arrive and start to build their nest. So the situation is, of course, that there is a, a symbiosis, or it's probably not a symbiosis, it might be. We don't know what benefit the wasps derive from the bird, but we do know that, of course, the birds derive a huge security um, sort of benefit from having those nasty wasps next to them. Now I don't know if you've ever been stung by a, a wasp like that, it might be termed a hornet. It's very unpleasant indeed and they sting en masse and they sting repeatedly and I've told this story before some time back but I've been stung by exactly a nest of wasps like that and I was on the golf course uh, obviously not on the fairway because that's I'm never on the fairway on the golf course and I was trying to find my ball underneath some thick bush and I got my head underneath it and sudden and my hat wasn't on suddenly I felt like pool acid had been poured onto my head all I heard was and then it felt like pool acid had been poured onto my head and these things had just nailed me probably five or six times each and I was hit 50 times at least I ran out of there left the ball behind and my four iron and sort of was running around um, squealing like a small child because it was so very painful luckily it dissipated pretty quickly within 20 minutes I couldn't feel it anymore and I didn't I'm not allergic to them so I was quite lucky but uh, certainly the language that came out of my mouth was fairly choice and uh, very unmanly was the tone at which I squealed. So they make a huge, uh, they're a very effective security mechanism if you can make them not sting you. And somehow the waxbill and the wasp have come to an understanding where they live with each other and the wasp provides security. I don't know what the waxbill provides for the wasps, but you would imagine it's something if, what was that? <laughs> you would imagine it's something if the bird arrives first and the wasp afterwards. Herbert, would you like to contribute to that discussion? What would you like to say? Let me come closer to you. Good morning, everybody. Um, through our investigation on the, uh, the symbiotic relationship, mm -hmm. we have found that when the, um, the bird's eggs hatch, mm -hmm. if the bird um, lays four eggs, one will be left in the nest so for the wasp to feed on. So what happens, that the fourth egg will be a negative egg yeah. and as soon as the chicks are hatched the last one will be cracked open and the bed will take the chicks out and the wasp will get inside the nest and feed on the and eat the yolk yeah. really well there we are then that's probably the answer to the great mystery isn't that wonderful how they communicate with each other no one has any idea that's a wonderful story thank you for that herbert